ولقد يسرنا القرآن للذكر فهل من مدكر Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to the new video lesson of the series. We are in part 7 of lesson 4 of book 1. Let's try to answer the questions given on the top half of page 25 based on what we read in the dialogue on page 24 last time. The first one is Min aina anta? Which literally translates to From where are you? This question was directed to Muhammad. So let's try to pretend to be him to answer this question. Muhammad is from Japan. So we should say, I am from Japan. How do we say it in Arabic? Ana min al yabani. Very good. Ana min al yabani. The second question is, Aanta min al Filipini? Are you from the Philippines? We want to say, No, I am from Japan. So the answer will be, La ana min al yabani. La ana min al yabani. Or if the question was directed to someone who was in fact from the Philippines, he could have said, Nam, ana min al Filipini. Nam, ana min al Filipini. The third question is, Man min al Sini. Who is from China? Man min al Sini. Do you remember who is from China? Ammar is from China, according to the dialogue. So let's say, Ammar is from China. In Arabic, we say Ammarun min al-Sini. Ammarun min al-Sini. Number four, Min aina Hamidun? Where is Hamid from? He was from India. How do we answer in Arabic? Huwa min al-Hindi. Huwa min al-Hindi. Very good. Just to refresh our minds, our answer here is jumla ismiya. So the mubtada of the response is huwa and the khabar is jar majroor shibhu jumla min al hindi. Number five, aina zahaba abbasun. Where did Abbas go? Aina zahaba abbasun. What should the answer be here? We should say he went to the principal. Zahaba ila al mudiri. ذهب إلى المدير. Remember from the last video, this is a جملة فعلية. And if you want to bring the فاعل عباس, we can expand this verbal sentence and say ذهب عباس إلى المدير. ذهب عباس إلى المدير. Here we've got فعل followed by فاعل, and then we have جار مجرور إلى المدير being used with the فعل ذهب to describe where عباس went. Can you tell me what is the state of the ism Abbasun here? It is marfu' right? That is because the fa'il of the jumla fi'aliya is always marfu'. This is one of the rules about the verbal sentences that we should try to keep in mind. When we see the verbal sentence next time, let's take a note of the state of fa'il. We will see it coming as marfu' all the time. The final question is, أَذَهَبَ عَلِيٌ إِلَى الْمُدِيرِ did Ali go to the principal? No, right? He actually went to the restroom. How are we going to say that in Arabic? We say لا ذهب إلى المرحاض. لا ذهب إلى المرحاض. Very nice. We are in exercise two now. All we have to do here is to be able to read and write the words with proper vowels at the end. As usual. I'll give you a couple of seconds to attempt on your own first. Let's start. The first word is al the room. We end with dhamma because the word is sitting by itself, so it is marfu' or in its normal or neutral state with no outside influence. Next, min al from the room. Al Ghurfati is ending with Kasra because it is Majroor, and that is because it is coming after Harf Jar Min. Next one Min al Hammami, another Jar wa Majroor, meaning from the bathroom. Next Al Mirhadu, this ism is sitting alone as Marfu'. 
Next. إلى المرحاضي. This is a حرف جر واسم مجرور. Together they are شبه جملة or a phrase. Next word. اليابان. Japan. This اسم should be مرفوع with ضمة ending. Next one. الفلبين. The Philippines. Another مرفوع اسم. Next. من الهندي from India. This is a جر ومجرور phrase which we call شبه جملة. And finally, the last one. إلى الصيني to China. Another جر ومجرور شبه جملة. All set with this exercise. In the next exercise, at the bottom of page 25, we will again practice our reading skills. If you can, try to write them as well. The sentences do not have vowel signs and we will need to read them with correct vowels. I will give you a few seconds to see if you can read the sentences on your own, okay? The first example. Min aina Fatimatu? Hiya min al Hindi. Where is Fatima from? She is from India. Min aina Fatimatu? Hiya min al Hindi. Our response here is Jumla ismiya and Hiya is Mubtada, Min al Hindi is Khabar of the sentence. Next one. خرج المدرس من الفصل وذهب إلى المدير. The teacher came out of the classroom and went to the principal. What kind of sentence is this? جملة فعلية, right? In fact, we have two جملة فعلية here. The first one is starting with the fi'l kharaja and the second one is starting with dhahaba. What would be the fa'il of the first sentence? Al-mudarrisu. Very good. Notice the fa'il al-mudarrisu is coming as marfu'. As I mentioned earlier, the fa'il is always marfu' because it gets along with fi'l really well. So the fi'l leaves the fa'il alone in its normal state as marfu'. And how about the fa'il of the second sentence? It is hidden and is referring to huwa. Third sentence. ذهب التاجر إلى الدكاني. The trader went to the store. ذهب التاجر إلى الدكاني. This is another fi'liya sentence. So what is the fi'l of the sentence? ذهب. And how about the fa'il, the doer? It is at Again, the fa'il is coming as marfu' as we expect. Fourth sentence. خرج حامد من الغرفة وذهب إلى الحمام. Hamid came out of the room and went to the bathroom. خرج حامد من الغرفة وذهب إلى الحمام. We have another pair of fi'liya sentences here. The first one is خرج حامد من الغرفة. Our fi'l is خرج followed by fa'il حامد which is a marfu' ism. Then we have جار مجرور من الغرفة which is giving additional detail about fi'l خرج. And the next verbal sentence is ذهب إلى الحمام. The fi'l is ذهب and fa'il is hidden and is referring to هو which in turn is referring to حامد. We are on page 26 now, sentence number 5. من خرج من الفصل? Who came out of the classroom? من خرج من الفصل? Number 6. خرج الطالب من المدرسة وذهب إلى السوق. The student came out of the school and went to the market. خرج الطالب من المدرسة وذهب إلى السوق. Another couple of فعلية sentences here. The two verbs are خرج and ذهب. And فاعل of the first one is الطالب. And the second one is hidden and is referring to هو. The final sentence. خديجة من الصين وخالد من اليابان. Khadija is from China and Khalid is from Japan. 
Khadijatu min al-Sini wa Khalidun min al-Yabani. Now, is it fi'aliya or ismiya sentence? It is ismiya, right? We actually have two of them. Can you identify the mubtada and khabar of these sentences? Khadijatu is the mubtada of the first sentence. And its khabar is shibhu jumla min al-Sini. Khalidun is the mubtada of the second sentence and jar majroor min al-yabani is the shibhu jumla type khabar. These two sentences are separated by harf wa. All set with this exercise. Let's pause it here for now and finish up and summarize lesson 4 in the next video inshallah. Until then, assalamu alaikum.